mean, I think it was a really good week. A uh, really good week. Um, it was pretty tough trying to get back into what the team is, uh, getting back into the rhythm of the basketball they play here. And but it was fun spending time with the guys, with the coaches, and it was pretty tough training as well. What was your reaction when you found out you were going to be starting today? And when did you find out you were going to be starting today? Uh, uh, they told me yesterday in the film room when I, we were just finishing getting ready for the game. And I mean, I didn't get any reaction. I was just like, I don't know what to say. You hit two threes early in the game. Did that give you a lot of confidence? Yeah, of course. Uh, also, as I said before, uh, I need to thank all the people that came to watch us. Because I know when I hit the threes, everyone just was like, everyone was cheering for me, so that helped me a lot as well. Have you ever played for the crowd close to this size? Uh, not even close to this size. I think the maximum that I had before was like probably around 7,000. Did you get tired? Sorry? Did you get tired? Coach Bourne said he thought you might you play a lot of minutes and maybe got tired. Um, I do go tired. Um, I mean, I got here just a week before. Uh, I'm trying to get back in shape to what it was before. But, yep, yeah, that's it. Is it just going to be a matter of playing your way into shape, you know, giving it over time? Can you again, sir? Is it just going to be a matter of playing yourself into shape, you know, getting into top shape? Mm, I don't know. I don't know what to say now. How, just how do you feel about the way you played today? Uh, I mean, I'm feeling, I feel confident. I know I need to get down those turnovers. And I mean, still have a not very good feeling about the game because it was a tough loss. And I don't really care about how I played. I just care about like whether we won or we lost because all this is about is about the team. And yeah. How do you compare the length and athleticism of LSU's players to some of the people that you played in Mexico City and, and, and in Australia? I mean, uh, we have big guys in Australia and Mexico and other in other places, but they way more athletic here and stronger. And I mean, it's college level. It's different from high school. Where like, just thinking about the age, they different. And yeah, that's I think the thing that I struggle most with. How did you learn as much of the offense as quickly as you have? What did you do before you got here and stuff like that? Uh, one of the guys from the team sent me a lot of uh, the plays they run back in, like I was back in Europe before coming here, and I started like to watch the the plays. So when I got here, I was like, I have where to start from. You had the uh, I think nine turnovers. How did you cut down on that? What, what led you that? I mean, as I said before, uh, I was expecting a really athletic level, but I didn't get to that point. I think I need to improve, watch film, uh, see what I did wrong, and try to like fix those mistakes that I did. You said it was the biggest crowd that you played in front of. At what point did you realize how massive the crowd, how big of a crowd you had? Um, At what point did you I think the point that most hit me was uh, one ball that got in the floor and I dived. And, like once we get it, we got it back. Like everyone cheered for it. That was like special. What made you end up at Tennessee? What was it about Tennessee that stat that appealed to you? So I talked to a lot of people before doing the visits, and all what the people told me was like, "We're not going to tell you anything. You just gotta feel it whenever you're visiting." And you know, when I visited here, like. I felt it. I felt it with the team, with the coaches. I saw the facilities and they were all great. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think you hit six three-pointers. Are you, do you consider yourself a really good three-point shooter? Um, I don't know. That's uh, part of the game. It could be six or it could be way uh, less than that. Depends on the day. But, I don't know. I think I'm a pretty solid shooter. And, yeah. What was the biggest thing you learned tonight from this game? Uh, as I said before, I think the thing that I struggled most with was the athleticism of the other team. And I was expecting to have more athleticism and more like long people, but not what happened tonight. So yeah, I think that's where I learned most. Is it one of those deals where you can't really prepare for that? So, Sorry? Is it one of those deals where you can't really prepare for that kind of athleticism until you see it firsthand and face it firsthand? Or? Yeah, I mean, you got to be on the court to know how it feels, to start like um, knowing when to throw a pass and whatnot. And I mean, 
I'm going to try to fix it. I don't know if I'm going to fix it real quick. I'll try my best, but I don't know. How do you feel about how do you change it? I, mean, I know they're all a little different here and there, but how do you try to cut that one out or something? Uh, I'm going to try to watch film, see what my mistakes were, and try to be more secure next game. Also, trying to, like on the next practice, uh, trying to be more safe as well. And, yeah. Have you ever done anything like this before, kind of joining a team midway through their season? Uh, yeah, it happened to me uh, when I got to Australia. It was last year, 2019, in June. And they were like mid season. And I got to a whole new team where I didn't know anyone. A couple just like, I knew playing against them, but not really. And yeah. Was there anything from that experience that you kind of learned that maybe you took into kind of trying to jump in here? Yeah, of course. I mean, I know that all what's happening to me right now. Uh, uh, in college or what happened to me before with the NBA Academy, it's going to help me grow and I mean every situation I can learn something from it and helps me to in the future uh, when it gets to another situation similar, I know how to deal with it. How much are you still learning about your teammates? I mean, um, I just, I'm feeling really comfortable. Uh, I still got need to get to know more of the teammates. I've been here just for a week, but I think uh, the team is doing really good having my back. Like, because it's my first week, I'm gonna do mistakes, and they all got my back, and that's something I really appreciate from them. Why did you want to play college basketball? Uh, it all started with my parents. They, they want me to study and play at the same time. And yeah, I mean, I want to have a backup just in case something happens. Or once I'm done with basketball, I want to have a career to like do something. When you made that first three, you heard the crowd go nuts. What's going through your mind that uh, I just felt proud, proud of like being here, having other people uh, cheering for us. And yeah, I think that was. Good. Most was that first half encouraging for you all? I mean, not just uh, for the team, but specifically you and Josiah and the fact that you all were so effective as a backcourt, making shots and uh, making plays for each other? Uh, of course, uh, the crowd helps us all the time. Uh, I mean, if you hit a three and everyone cheers for it, you're going to feel much better. And yeah, as I said before in another interview, I want to thank all the people that came to watch us. Uh, I know it was a pretty tough loss, but I mean, still thank everyone that came. Oh, you said that before you got here, soon after you got here, one of the players sent you a bunch of friends. Was that the sent you to film? Oh, sorry, he wasn't, he wasn't one of the players. He was one of the managers of the team that sent me the, the place. Okay. Is it Santi or Santi, right? I mean, the real one would be Santi, but I get used to either one. Okay. Which would you prefer? I mean, if I'm back in Uruguay, everyone will call me Santi. But as I'm here, like, I'm good with it. Like, people call me Santi. How much did it help to have the film and, and the plays that, that they sent you? As Coach Barnes said, it seemed like you really absorbed what they do. I mean, it helped me a lot. Um, helped me a lot from before getting here to already know what they run. And I mean, I still need to thank the, all the people, the coaches and the teammates that held my back all the time when I did something wrong in the practices. They all helped me like trying to coach me on what to do, what not. And yeah, that was pretty good. How did you go about learning? Just watching all the videos, some hours on, hours on the iPad? Sorry. Watching. How did you go about learning the offense then? Just watching the video on the iPad for hours or have what? I mean, I watch it before getting here uh, for like many times and like just trying to know what we're running and I think it really helped me once I got here like running the offense and as, as I said all the teammates that were helping me and the coaches like trying to coach me what to do I think that was pretty good. Did like practice video, game video, both? Oh uh, I mean it was either they sent me because what I was trying to look at it was mainly the, the plays that they run and it could be either training or in games. What was it like defending the LSU's guards? I mean, they pretty fast, they explosive, and I got really tough on the number one. 
that like on smart yeah so i didn't know he could shoot that well because i was like right into him and he still could shot that ball and like he went in so yeah it was pretty hard thank you very much